Former President Trump's legal battle here in New York, where District Attorney Alvin Bragg is prosecuting him in a hush money case. It may be delayed by a month. Yeah, this as we're also waiting to hear from a judge down in Georgia who's deciding if Prosecutor Fonnie Willis can continue on that case. So two separate cases. Good days, Robert Moses is outside Manhattan Criminal Court in Lower Manhattan with the details. Good morning, Robert. Dan and Sashani, good morning to you. A media circus will ensue when the trial gets underway here. We thought that would happen one week from Monday, but now that looks unlikely. This morning, there are key developments in three of the four criminal cases that the former president faces. The office of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg could file a formal motion as soon as today about delaying the start of former President Donald Trump's criminal trial here by 30 days. In a court filing yesterday, Bragg said prosecutors did not oppose a delay of that length to ensure the former president and his attorneys have enough time to review tens of thousands of pages of new documents. Yesterday's filing came in response to the former president's request for a delay of 90 days. Judge Juan Mershon must sign off on any delay. The trial, which centers around hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels, was supposed to begin with jury selection one week from Monday. There could also be a development today in a second criminal case against the former president. Judge Scott McAfee has said he will decide by today about whether to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis from the case in Georgia that accuses the former president and others of plotting to overturn the 2020 election results there. At issue is whether Willis's appointment of Nathan Wade as the lead prosecutor constitutes a conflict of interest since the two had a romantic relationship. Removing Willis could torpedo the whole case, which still does not have a trial date. And in a third criminal proceeding, the federal judge in Florida presiding over the case there surrounding the former president's mishandling of classified documents yesterday declined to dismiss it. The case is scheduled to go to trial in May, but will almost certainly be postponed until the summer or maybe even until after Election Day. And the fourth criminal case involving the former president, this one in Washington, which centers around his efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election, is on hold while the Supreme Court decides if he is immune from prosecution. He argues that he is. We're live in Lower Manhattan this morning. Dan and Tashani, back to you. Robert, thank you very much.